Uh, first of all, it is interesting how Yaddle was originally created simply because they were trying out different character designs for Yoda, and um, of course they settled on the design that they got for Yoda, but the point is they recycled a bunch of the other older ideas that they have, which is something Star Wars does a lot. It recycles a lot of concepts and art and other um, ideas that they had before and transforms them into other things, so that's pretty cool. It's like they were trying to have a female Sith in Attack of the Clones, but they went with Count Dooku instead. So they decided to use that female Sith concept and the artwork to create the new character of Asajj Ventress. And um, yeah, so they recycle a lot of designs, do a lot of things. So that is what happens. Now, I will say, in terms of Yaddle, Oh, by the way, uh, it really would have been cool if Yoda had been, had had a different look in the prequel trilogy. Imagine if he had like long hair or brown hair or like black hair or something. It just looked way different in the prequel trilogy than it did in the original trilogy. I think they missed an opportunity with that, but oh well, whatever. Now, where now the point here is, where did Yaddle come from? Like, did Yoda personally bring her to the Jedi Temple? Did Yoda? Does Yoda periodically? go back to his home world and seek out force sensitives among his people. Now, of course, that leads to a different question. Is every member of Yoda's species force sensitive? We have no answer on that because we have no information on Yoda's species. And so, first of all, um, there were four members of Yoda's species in Legends and three in Canon. So in Legends, it was Yoda, Yaddle, Vander Tokar, and uh, Minch. In Canon, it's Yoda, Yaddle, Grogu. But the point is, all the members of Yoda species that we've seen in Canon Legends were Force sensitive. However, we've only seen like three or four of them in Canon Legends, so there could be a million more out there who are not Force sensitive. So we don't know. So it's possible. But my guess is, since Yoda has told no one about his home world, since he's revealed no information about his species, he's probably the only one who knows how to get to his home world and find his people and seek out force sensitives so when jedi go out into the galaxy and go to planets and find force sensitives and bring them back to the jedi temple that's how it works so yoda probably goes went out by himself and went to his home world and sought force sensitives and brought them back to the temple so maybe that's how yaddle came to the jedi temple maybe that's how grogu came maybe yoda went out to his home world and brought yaddle and grogu now, of course, we have to factor in the fact that um, Yoda is around 900, whereas Yaddle is 477, so if Yoda did indeed find Yaddle, he would have... I mean, obviously, Yoda was already hundreds of years old when Yaddle was born. Probably about 300 to 400 years old, so... Yep. So Yoda would have been at the temple a lot longer than Yaddle and Grogu were. So... Did Yoda bring y Yaddle and Grogu personally to the Jedi Temple? My guess is yes. I'm guessing Yoda was probably the one who found Grogu and Yaddle and brought them to the Jedi Temple because he's the only one who knows anything about his species. And as for Yoda, when did he come to the Jedi Temple? Well, we know he's like 800 to 900 years old, so maybe he came when he was like 50. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but maybe when he was like 20 or 10 or 0 or whatever. Like, my other question is... How, like, how little are the Yoda species babies? Because baby Yoda Grogu is 50 years old and he's still that little and he's still practically a baby. So, like, what are the even younger babies like? What, like, what are the 10-year-olds and, like, zero-year-olds for the Yoda species like? I'm just really curious now. Oh, and finally, apparently Yaddle speaks like a normal person in... The High Republic, apparently Yaddle does not speak backwards. Yaddle says, my name is Yaddle instead of Yoda, my name is, or something like that. So, so of course, Yaddle would say, I am uploading a video on YouTube, whereas Yoda would say, uploading a video on YouTube, I am. Or video uploading on YouTube. I, I, I can't speak backwards, but yeah, you get the point. So Yaddle does not speak backwards. Obviously, Grogu does not talk yet, so... Is it possible that Yaddle was maybe brought to Jedi Temple at an even younger age to where she just learned how to speak normally 
and Yoda was brought in a little later, and so maybe he didn't know how to speak the right way. Or is it possible, like, you know, in real life, there are people who actually speak in a different way. Like, there are, obviously, you have, like, little kids who sometimes refer to themselves in third person. You have people, like, saying, like, referring to themselves in the third person, and, like, instead of saying I or me, they just say their name and something, something, something. So it could just be that Yoda just speaks a little weird. Like, even for his speeches, maybe he just talks weird. Or maybe Yoda and Yaddle and Grogu, their species has a completely different language. And so they had to learn basic later. They had to learn the language of normal language later. And so maybe they learned it a little differently. Or it could be the case that Yoda just feels like talking that way because, you know, why not? Because he can do what he wants. So it could just be that they have a preference for how they talk. So whatever the case is over there. But the point was Yaddle and Grogu probably came to the Jedi Temple because Yoda found them and brought them. And I hope we get to see more of Yaddle soon. Maybe she'll be in The Mandalorian. I made no evidence of that, but it'll be nice.